Well, good morning. How's it going today? Well, this is the the, the bit X twenty. What is the the bit X twenty? You say? Well, it's a little transceiver. It's a twenty meter transceiver. It's a kit that's still available. Uh, actually, I traded this one. Are traded for this one. I traded a, a flat screen computer monitor that I got cheaply enough. Actually, I think I paid a whole dollar for it and recapped it, fixed it. It was a pretty nice little monitor, but it just didn't. Whoa! <laughs> Somebody has big feet. I should cut that out. Anyway. Uh, I just didn't really like it. It just didn't really fit. It, the size, just, I don't know. You never get something and not like it. Anyway, a friend said he needed a monitor. I said, well, you can have this one. Anyway, he came by and said, well, you can have this for the monitor if you want. Okay, I'm not going to argue about it. Now, I think there's a little sting in the tail on this. Now, I don't know what all the kit entails if you buy it off the internet. I don't have anything to do with where these come from, which I believe they come from QRP kits. You can hunt that down yourself. Uh, I see a lot of people building this, there's building this, and there's a lot of people having fun with this in the little Yahoo group. Um, and this actually does sideband, which is kind of interesting to me because it's a pretty small kit. It's a pretty nice board. And I'm actually just going to, well, I guess we could, no, it's sealed. This is all sealed up, and until I get my proverbial stuff together, I'm going to leave it in its little bags. But you can see all the hardware there now. Uh, this we can take out of the box. Oh, there's more. I, don't, I assume that this kit is all this stuff, although sometimes you can get kits, and then they don't sell you the... Uh, I'm going to say the chassis. This is a really nice little chassis. This feels like aluminum, but it's been powder coated. It's, a, you know, to be fair, it's a little orange peely, but it's a very vivid coloring. So I guess if you don't like blue on white, you're just stung. I don't know, it's a cute little machine. Actually, I jokingly asked him if there was a matching little baby speaker, and the speaker's inside the thing, so my joke went on hard times. It looks like there's everything there. The sting in the tail on this is this has some sort of a digital panel display and I don't see it anywhere here. So I don't know if it got misplaced or what happened, but maybe the, the folks at QRP Kits will help me out. I'm hoping. Otherwise, I'll, I'll figure out something. We'll, we'll, that, I'm not totally out. I'm just slightly inconvenienced. How's that sound? kit building is a time-honored tradition. It's quite fun, and despite what you think, there are a lot of kits out there. There are a lot of people who go to a lot of trouble to put these kits together and do all the documentation and make sure they work, and you know, you're, you're, you're kind of getting out of the manufacturing and testing phase, but you're also asking for a blow to the head with a big hammer because you don't know what the end user, you know, they may be a competent solderer but a bad tester you never know so it's a it's a it's a gamble but it looks fun the other thing that's interesting about this kit I believe that it didn't come with any instructions not a problem the internet will yield those and I actually kinda like that idea yeah that doesn't sound like something I'd be into I like the idea that you have one one or two depositories for information and if there's a change to be made you change it there and then the change can kind of ripple down or at least people can you know get an updated version of the instructions um, it might save you you know hopefully a few bucks on paper and CDs and all that junk that's just gonna get used one time and thrown away so you know if you want to use the instructions off the internet, knock yourself out. If you want to print them off, knock yourself out. Plenty of people do that and file them away. I do that. Because I like to go back and look at it. 
The other thing I believe that this, this kit can be converted to 17 meters, and I believe this is only a few watts, maybe six. I'm not 100% sure. The other thing that's kind of fun about kits is it gives you, if you're if you're on the ball, it gives you a chance to figure out how the thing was put together and learn about the thing. You know, whether it's an egg timer or, you know, whatever you got. That was really loud. Um, and when it comes time, if it gets broke, you stand a pretty good chance of fixing it. One thing I did notice about this kit, uh, actually two things, it has a pretty nice circuit board and some nice silk screening there. One thing I did notice is, I'll look at like a resistor here, this is probably going to be a bit hard to see, now nah, there we go, is this uses what I call the Japanese um, method of putting the resistors in. Normally on circuit boards you lay the resistor horizontally and bend the leads down. The Japanese, and I could be totally off base, this is where I first saw it as a kid, they put the resistor in up on end and then bend the lead back. It makes it for a tinier footprint for the parts. That's why this whole kit can be, you know, fit in the palm of my hand. There's a lot of caps there. I'm going to be busy. I have yet to decide whether I want to show you all the boring details of building this or work in little stages, you know. It really depends on your level of building abilities at the other end. Somebody that's a more of a, what I call an advanced or master builder would probably be bored to tears, but you know, they can fast forward. What I might do is I might show the various components one or two times and then we'll speed up from there. Maybe that would be a good compromise. And anything that's unusual um, we'll, we'll go into a little more detail. Maybe that would be helpful. The idea behind this is to maybe make a kind of a video tutorial on how to put this together a little bit, maybe help some folks. I always appreciate when I find something on the internet that someone's taken a lot of time, whether it be video or text or audio. Um, you know, people don't have to do that stuff. They, there are millions of YouTube videos that people don't get a dime off of on how to do things, and I always appreciate that stuff. Where was that stuff when I was a kid? I learned a lot of that stuff the hard way. So this, they've actually kind of divided this kit up. This appears to be all the hardware and solid state stuff. This is more hardware, like for the case. There's all the resistors. Um, this appears to be all capacitors. So there's a reasonable number of parts in here. And I think there is, yes, there it is, my, my favorite nemesis, the coil. You have to make a couple coils in this. Now, um, for those of you that follow my channel, remember we built the little, uh, the super, or the regenerative set, the little four states regenerative set, and it had a coil, and I took a, uh, took the advice of uh, some other builders and built the coil first. You know, a lot of people seem to be afraid of them. I don't think there's anything to be too afraid of. I didn't have any trouble. It just Coils, to be really honest, kind of intimidate me. I don't know why, other than you don't see them very often. Probably because I don't have the tools to determine what they are. And when it comes time to build a project, th here's the reason why. When it comes time to build a project and you're gathering up the parts, a lot of times you can't find the forms or the wire or whatever it's needed to build the coil. That isn't a problem here, it's all packaged up. But uh, it, it stops the project dead, and you can't figure out a substitute because you don't have enough knowledge to work with them. So it's a bit of a nuisance. But I think today, nowadays, there are plenty of low-budget tools to help you. And I think there's enough information on the Internet to help you along there, too. There are probably plenty of people to ask, so I don't know. Maybe it isn't so intimidating after all. Maybe it's just a more of a tiny nuisance that needs to be put in its place. Well, I'm going to go download the instructions and look at this a little carefuler. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do about the panel meter. I have seen this kit. Um, there's probably nothing to stop you from building this from scratch. I think that's how this kind of started out. I've seen these without the displays. It looks like someone just took the time to package it all up. So, um, 
There are various building styles. Don't be afraid to look this baby up on the internet. We'll see if we can have a little fun with this. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, you're always welcome to uh, leave them. Let's see what we can get into, what kind of trouble we can cause. <laughs> Take it easy. Have a groovy day.